Welcome back to Suffield's Amazing Race. Hello, and welcome back to Suffield's Amazing Race. Last episode, we saw 12 teams earn the right to compete in the first leg of the competition. This leg brought the teams to South America, but before they could continue, teams had to find either a letter or a number in five of the buildings in the academic quad. These letters and numbers, combined with the number I gave them at the starting line, would spell out a room on campus that the teams had to go to. Once they figured out what room it was, Hat's classroom, teams went to that room and had to tell Allie Hayden what country they were in, which could be figured out by noticing the Brazilian flag within the classroom. Do we get it? What do I have to do? I don't know. Well, how'd you give it to them? They told me what they had to tell me. Brazil! Once they did this, the teams received their next clue. Then, teams had to go to the Tisch Field House, where they had a choice between two challenges. The teams had to either score four goals on Suffield Varsity soccer goalie Jackson Pence, or go to the crew room where they had to row a thousand meters. Once they completed one of these challenges, they received their next clue. I felt like, just by carrying the twins, I have a lot of upper body strength, but it took lower, it's just more difficult than I thought it would be. There's no way I was going to shoot on pens. No way. Uh, I couldn't make that. Dude, that rowing sucked. Well, we can't play soccer. Anymore. The teams then had to make their way to the art center, where they had to paint a mask for Brazilian Carnival based off of a photo. Um, the easiest part was definitely painting the mask. You just had to sit down and do it really quick. And I'm an artist in art, you know, got that artistic ability. It just has to look good. This thing, this thing is bonus. Let me get that one. Another one. Paintbrush. Another one. Another one. We're super crafty. Once they did this, teams received their next clue in the form of a picture, and they had to figure out that that clue was a photo that was on the first floor of Holcomb Hall. Science. Once teams got to Holcomb, one team member had to look in a series of five microscopes that had coordinates on slides and use the map at the front of the classroom to figure out what cities they were pointing to. What's the city? Yes. Uh, that's, yeah. Once they did this, they were given their next clue. Finally, teams had to go to Fuller, the location of the pit stop, and check in with me. Jeremy Greer and Isabel Ricky had a very strong showing coming in first place. No, Jeremy, congratulations, you guys are team number one. Woo! Ben Bailey and John Kuzmeski were not far behind, and Miss Warren and Miss BG came in third. Unfortunately, this leg was the end of the road for Olivia Alfano and Izzy Dutrenois, and Haley Melendez and Mr. Melendez. It sucks. Yeah. I like want it first. I don't like it. I mean, some other teams might feel like they're just grateful to be here. We want first, so. If, if, if we're not first, we're last. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. They didn't want us to get seven. No one thought we'd make it this far. They didn't want us to make it this far. They told us we'd get 11. We're still in the same building at the same time. And that's all that matters, man. Because they don't want you to come to test. That's all the game and test. Could, could we get? First, second, third. Possibly. Yes, we could. Possibly we could. <laughs> Would the crowd be entertained? No, no. They want an underdog. <clears throat> no. All about this. We got 11th. We got 7th. We got first coming up. So stay tuned. It's a spectator sport. Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you. Ten teams remain. Who will fail and who will prevail? Find out next time on Suffield's Amazing Race.